All right. First, first interview at the 2025 AHR show. I'm here with my friend Jamie. Jamie, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks, Tony. I'm so glad this is the first one because Jamie's been on our show. A couple of times. A couple of times. Yeah. And we got a great product. It's a great visual demo. I love this. So we're talking about spirotherm. We're really talking about removing air from water. Correct. Right? So why do we want, first of all, let's start with that. Why is, what's the big deal with having a little air and water? Well, it's a big deal. <laughs> uh, it's an efficiency problem is what it is. So right. you want to have a high efficiency, chilled water, heating hot water, anything like that. And then when it comes to like condenser water, they're dirty. So if you want to have clean water, you got to get rid of the oxygen. Oxygen is an insulator. It's also a rust agent, basically. So you mix water, oxygen, and steel together, you get rust. So, so we can get rid of that. So you showed me some bottled water on your website have, you yeah. have some pictures i think it's on your website i don't know where it is but you can take the water out of the pipe and it's like brown it looks like rust brown that's because yes. of the oxidation caused by the air in the water correct and of course you've got maintenance issues you've got efficiency issues you've got corrosion issues all these things associated with that Everything, so just yeah. i'm amazed that just by removing the air from the water correct you can see like when you install a product that does that you can go back every week and take a test of the water and you can see the bottles oh, next to each other it's fun. amazing it's, it's fun. amazing. I try to sell a bottle of water, or a package of water with every, every sale. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, let's look at this product. So this is an actual visual demonstration as to Correct. how we remove the air from the water, right? The, we'll, we'll show the main product, like what it really looks like later, but this would be your That's product. At, yes. And this would represent a chill water loop, exactly. a boiler loop, yep. or something like that. So how we, let's walk through this. So right now we, uh, we do a bicycle pump just on everything. Uh, it's a great solution to put air into your system, by the way, but, but don't do that. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, but what we have here, I have a lot of air in the system. So we're, our pump is cavitating. You can see the little waterfall somewhat going on, the bubbles moving around. Right. A lot of free air getting trapped. Uh, you can get rid of those with high point uh, air valves as well. But what we're going to do Up is just here, simply... Something, something at the top of the... Exactly, yeah. exactly. So you can do that. And you can do hundreds of those in a system. But instead, you can just do one of these in a mechanical room, easy to get to, right? hopefully. Um, and that's how we're going to get rid of all the air and the dirt and whatnot right out of the system. So so right now, the, this water with the air and it's not going through this. We're going to turn not. this valve and it's going to go through here and it's going to come in here with air in it and it's going to remove some of the air and it it's going to... Okay. Yep. And then the, 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 the speed of the water should increase as well too. Uh, and like I said, making everything more efficient is, is the end game without any really moving parts or electricity wow. or anything like that. I so. love the simplicity of this. Exactly. Well, I'll okay. flip the valve so we can see this one. Okay. Um, so now we just installed our spirotherm. We did, yes. Spiro so. vent. Spirotherm, excuse me. Exactly, exactly. So what's happening is the air bubbles and you can kind of visually see in the piping on the top that the water is going to move faster and faster uh, just because there's less pump cavitation as well too. So by doing that, we also make it efficient. And I keep saying that because that's really the end game here. Notice this bubble up here. As we take air bubbles out of the system here, it becomes almost almost an absorptive state where we're starving the system of oxygen. Right. And by doing that, you get these little bubbles that kind of peck away, peck away. And eventually there will be no more high point free air bubbles within the system. So It's incredible. It's so simple. Yep. Heather, do you want to try and zoom in on that? Think we can get a shot of that? We'll get out of the way for a minute so it won't pick up our faces. Might be a little tricky to, to get a zoom on that, but we'll try. The folks can see it. It's amazing how fast it's removing the water from this. The, yeah. Excuse me, the oxygen from this. And again, right. the whole point is to, you know, again. prevent the oxidation from happening, which makes it all rusty, which deteriorates the efficiency, et cetera. I think I so. cheated a little bit there, but I, I sped it up a little bit. Um, what happened is that bubble got absorbed into the system. I'll do it again here, just I, like I said, I think yep. I cheated. So I'll put a little bit more hey, air into it. Hey, don't be cheating on us. That only happens yesterday, right? <laughs> but I think people get the idea. Yes, yeah. exactly. So. And it's co this is called a coalescing? Correct. Is correct. that correct? Correct. Yep, it's this copper media right here. It's a little yep. kind of pointy. I don't, can you guys see that at all? Or you can try and get try getting it that. close to it. Yeah. There we go. Nice. There we go. There's a good view of it. So that's what it looks like. It, it kind of looks, it's not stainless. It has, it has solder on the outside of it. So it's got that shiny right. look to it. So that's how we kind of keep everything together. And uh, like I said, I mean, this is a combination air and dirt. You could Very do a nice. dirt only unit where it's just, we just kind of take the top of it. We this take is, the top of it off. Yeah, this is what the actual, let's see if we could zoom in on that. 
So this is the actual product. This is a cutaway of it. Yep. This is a combo spiral vent, right? Correct, yep. Okay. All right, so what else do we want to show folks? You can show the glycol section of it as well, too, if, you, right. if you live up north at all. Hey, guys, how you doing? I'll go on this side of it. So this one right here is about 25% glycol, and we, we measured it earlier just to kind of make sure we were there. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see right now, and I know just by judging by this valve, right now it's basically an air-free system. Um, and this takes a little bit longer because it almost turns it into like a cotton candy is what it looks like. Once mm -hmm. I put air in here, you'll see what I mean. So I'll do the, the same thing we had earlier. And what I just did was flip the valve so it's gonna do a bypass around the whole thing. So we'll add, we'll add some air to it, maybe. There we go. We'll put a we'll put a lot in there. Let's fill it up. Just kind of exaggerate. And maybe a little. Well, there that that looks pretty good. Is this twenty five percent glycol? Yeah, we we measured it with a. Re you should have some glycol on that other unit. You shipped should up have, here. Should have. <laughs> <laughs> we will next year. Jamie was telling me they'd ship the demo unit up here, but had a little water in the bottom and it froze. Right. Yeah, Chicago is apparently cold right now in January. That's so right. February, That's right. I guess. So as you guys can see, like I, I mentioned that cotton candy look earlier, and I don't know how well you can really see on this. Um, it almost has like a swirling look to it. Yeah. Um, but I mean, that's it's not really cotton candy that's in there. It, it's glycol. But when you basically have a pump cavitation with glycol, it, it turns it into foam everywhere. So even when I put flip this valve later on, you'll see a big like almost we'll call it a foam cap. But I mean, it's just bubbles. They're where they're, they are where they're supposed to be. Right. But uh, you can see, and I'll, I'll do this one just like I said, this one takes longer. It's a uh, viscosity thing, but I mean, you can see, you can visually see this one a lot better. Yeah, um, do you want to try? I don't know if you guys can zoom in, in on here, that Heather? at all. Heather doing a great job on the camera, by the way. Yeah, it looks good. You can see it. You can see this here. And like I said, you can see all the foam that's inside of it eventually. All this air bubbles will come that, out of it. Cotton candy is a good description of that. It color. does look like it. So That's for sure. In a little bit, I mean, you'll start seeing when, when it settles down a little bit. You'll see all the swooshing and whatnot, kind of right down here at the bottom. And, and again, that's just a visual aid for our demo unit. In, right. a, in a real unit, this media is going to go all the way to the bottom. We're going to absorb all the air, the oxygen out of the system, and basically make it a very efficient, almost an insurance factor formula for your chilled water, your boiler, whatever you want. So. Excellent. So, All right, what's our booth number in case we get this out there? 2081? 2181. 2181? Yes. Spirotherm, AHR 2025. If you're watching this later, check the video description and we'll have a link to Jamie's website. So. Perfect, thank you, Tony. Thank you very Always much, appreciate, appreciate you. Enjoy thank the you. show, Thanks have a good too. show.